Well, here we are at day seven of 30 days of prayer for our children. And today, um, seems like each day just kind of builds on the day before. Yesterday, we talked about having the heart of David, which means um, being deeply remorseful and repentant of sin, but being resilient and walking in freedom afterwards and just wanting to live lives um, holy and pleasing to God as living sacrifices. And today we're going to talk specifically about conviction of sin, which is one kind of facet of that, I guess. But just that our kids would be acutely aware of the sin in their lives, that that they would have that internal conscience of the Holy Spirit prompting them and, and waving the red flags when they get on a slippery slope. Because there are some areas of the lives of our kids where the Bible might not address that topic precisely. There are some that are very clear. But then there are others where it might be wise to pause before going into that um, or it might be sinful for one person, but not another because of their heart condition. So we just pray that our children would not have to live by the letter of the law, but that they would have an internal conscience that would convict them when they are walking a slippery slope, when they're getting close to sin, and that if they're walking in sin now, that it would just be immediately clear to them and that they would turn from it. Because we can shame them all day long and say, don't do that, or, you know, God's watching. But if they don't feel it, if they're not convicted of it, it doesn't make a difference. They're not going to want to turn from it. And that's the key. They have to want to turn from their sin. So let's pray today that our kids would have a conviction of sin that can really only come from the Holy Spirit. Father God, we just pray the prayer for our children that we see in Psalm 139, 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Father, wherever our children are right at this moment, we just ask that you would descend on them now with your Holy Spirit. If they are not saved, God, we just pray that you would impress on them the sin in their lives, that they would become aware of it, that you would lift the veil of deception that the enemy has placed over their eyes in thinking that everything is okay, that you would allow them to see clearly, maybe for the first time, that they are sinful and that they would be unsettled, that they would know that they need to take another step and that each step would be a step closer to your son, Jesus. God, your ways are so much higher than our ways. We just praise you for your wisdom, for your greatness. And and we just know that we make excuses and we allow sin to seep in our day-to-day lives rather than standing firm on your word. And we just pray against that, God, for your mighty hand to lift our children out of the sinking sand that they might be on, God. If they are treading dangerously close to sin, but not quite there yet. God, we pray that you would give them the red flag that they need to back up and back away. If they've already started to sink into sin, God, we just pray that you would give them that recognition that they would grab you as their lifeline so you can lift them out of that muck and that mire and place their feet solidly on the solid ground of your words and your ways. Lord, we pray for wisdom for them to immediately recognize right from wrong. We pray that their conscience would be with them constantly, that your Holy Spirit would just prompt them to stay away from sin, to flee in the other direction, God. And we pray that their response would be immediate and final, leaving no room for that sin to take root or to become a habit. God, we just pray that they would never believe the lies of the enemy, that you you want to withhold good gifts by withholding sin from them. We pray that they would never question your goodness or think they're missing out on something good because of their obedience to you, God, that your ways would look so attractive to them that they would immediately want to turn from their sin, that they would taste and see that you are good beyond anything that they could ever experience living a sinful life. 
when those lies come at them, God, we pray that you would give them the wisdom to know it and to know the truth and, and the strength of Jesus that he displayed as he was tempted in the wilderness to quote scripture back accurately and boldly. God, give them the discernment that would guard them against false doctrine that might justify wrong behaviors. And also grace for themselves and for others as they walk this journey of faith that you've brought them into. God, we protect, we pray that you would protect them from legalism that might want them, uh, that might make them want to um, use that conviction of sin to, to hold others to the same standard or to judge others. Father, we pray that protection that as they become more aware of their sin, they would just grow in grace for others and love for others and an understanding of how much we all need Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for your love. And we just lift these children up to you today and pray that you would just heighten their sensitivity and their awareness of that love as they are heightened to the sensitivity of their own sin. In Jesus' name, amen.